The days are getting better. Things are getting better. Oh. 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 Hi, people. You're welcome to my channel. <laughs> And if you are here for the first time, I'm Favor Napoleon. And if you are already a subscriber, you're welcome to my channel. Good to see you here. Yeah. On today's episode, we're going to be having an interesting time together. First of all, let me ask, how are you doing? What's happening? How are you doing in the house? <laughs> we are all in the house. Though I understand some people still go to work in some countries because they still have to take the risk to provide for their families, for what they are going to eat, how they are going to survive for shelter, for food, and for every other thing. That's a big risk in these days. But how are you faring? Let's know what's happening, what's happening in the house, what's happening with you. Hope you are having fun and hope you are catching fun. You know, there's something about this quarantine time that even when naturally you are not a heart uh, someone that normally likes going out, maybe... In, in you know when now I see quarantine as an as arrest because we are just in the house just in the house you can't move you can't go out you can't do anything so I just see it as an as arrest and you know how human beings are human beings like moving they like going they like walking and you know it has a psychological effect too that if when they say stay at home, even when you know you don't really have something to go and do outside, the, the, the thing your mind starts wanting to want to wanting and wanting to want to go outside. <laughs> I like my grandma on people's show. You start wanting to want to go outside. You know that's how it is. <laughs> you know even maybe probably if there's no quarantine, for example, maybe you are just indoors. Maybe you're on holiday or you're on leave. You will stay. But the fact that they have called it shut down and stay at home you know how we human beings are. we want to go and see outside we want to see what is that we want to move you know there's a psychological effect to this whole thing you know and and when it comes to you are the kind of person that always want to be moving hmm. movement in the leg kind of person this this um situation i know it will really be easy for you but let's take everything as it comes let's enjoy why we pray for a better future and going back to today's episode today i'm going to be sharing a few thoughts with us things that um you have you just have to bonder about in this season i'm going to be sharing three thoughts with us something that you need to think about something that you need to reason out something that you really need to hear at this time while you're at home please i'll hold you right there for a moment i'll be right back after the short break Tara. days are getting better it's getting better, the days are getting better. Mm -mm. It's getting better, your days are getting better. Mm -mm. It's getting better. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> On today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a few things that I want you to think about while you are at home. I want you to reason out. I want you to think within me. Let's think together. These were the few things that I felt would be so relevant now that you are on compulsory vacation at home. I'm going to be sharing a few thoughts with us today. Three, three points that I want you to get something from. And I hope you get something from it. Just saying. <laughs> and the first one is, what kind of history do you dream of making? How much do you want to pay for what you believe? How relevant do you want to be in your society? How relevant, how relevant do you want to be in your world? How, what are you willing to change in the world today? You know, when people think about um, their dreams, when people think about making history, they feel, oh, they just have to build an aircraft. They have to do something so massive. No, it can be so little that it cannot be erased in many years to come so at this time what kind of what kind of difference do you want to make in the world what kind of difference you know when we when when we can when we think about there are things that you see in your society there are things that you see in your environment that 
Nobody else sees. Those such there are things that you see in your environment that makes you angry, that provokes you, that are negative things. Such things, nobody might even have the eyes to see them, but only you. So you were born to change those things. So at this time, let's make history. Let's change things. Let's make the world better than the way we met it. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be massive. It can be so small and can never be erased in the history of life. How relevant do you want to be? How relevant do you want to be? It might not be so big. It might not be something big. It might be, it might even be you rendering help to people, making a difference in remote areas in the world. That's one question I always ask myself. No one had to think about something that reminded them of you. What would that be? And if, if, they, if they never had any opportunity to think of you, it means you were never relevant in the world. You were not created to pay bills. You were not created to pay mortgages. You were not created to... You were not created to, 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 to pay school fees. You were, not pay, you were not created to just pay bills and you were not created to breathe just oxygen. You were created, the reason you were created was for you to make a difference in the world. Was, was for you to make the world a better place than the way you met it. So those are, these, are the, those, these are one of the things I want you to think about, to bond down on this time that you are home. At this time, what kind of history do we want to make? What kind of change do we want to cause in our environment? And the second one I'll be talking about, the second thought I'll be sharing with you is be valuable. You know, become so valuable, become so relevant in the world today. You know, people are so, so poor today because they don't really know who they are. They don't really know the value. They don't really know the importance. They don't really know what they are make, made of. They don't really know their gift. They don't really know. So that's why you find people so poor. But you have to find your place. You start living when you, when you find something to master. That's when you start living. Cover your itch, your niche, sorry. Cover your niche. Find something that you can master. Find something that you master. That's where one thing where people that's where people always get it wrong. Some people believe that they were born to do everything. You were not born to do everything. All you just need to do is to master your place. Master what you were born to do. Develop a gift in your life that people will pay for. Develop a gift in your life that people cannot deny you for off. Develop a gift in your life that people will come to you to exchange money for that value. You know, in the world today, when you think about, when you call market Jackson, for example, the first thing that comes to people's mind is music. Why? That is what he mastered while he was alive. You can't, you can't come, you can't, you can't separate him from his field. What's your area today? What's your field? What do you master? Become so good in your field that you cannot be denied. Make yourself so valuable and people will pay for you. You know, we, we spend so much um, value, we place so much value on silver, on gold, on gas, on water in our world today. We place so much value on them. We spend a lot of money on them. People even feel life cannot go on without them. Same thing that has to do with you as a human being. Let people place value on you. When people, when, you, when someone is sick, you go to the hospital. When someone is sick, you go to see the doctors. When you have to take, you go and see the dentist. What do people come from for you for? What do people come for you for? What do, what do they come? What do they seek you for? What do they see, what do they look for you for when they are in need of your value? 
What control do you have over the market because of your value, because of your talents? What? So make yourself to be that water in your feed. Make yourself to be that gold in your feed that people will find you for. That you have a control over the market because of your feed. Because of what you have come to master. That is when you really start living. You know, people can be fired from their job. People can be fired from their job. Someone can be sacked from his job. Someone can retire from his job. Someone can be fired from his job. But you can never retire from your work. You can never retire and you don't earn salary from your work. You are, you are paid a fee for your work. And when you, when, you, when, when, when you have a job, and a great one at that, you are being paid salary. But when you have work, you cannot be fired. And you cannot retire. <laughs> it is permanent. Why? Because it's your life. And the final thought I'll be sharing with you today, the number three is, don't be afraid. You know, people are afraid to live their dreams. People are afraid to live their lives. They are afraid to live up to their visions. You know, they are afraid. Why? Because they, they are scared of challenges. They are scared of opposition. They are scared of what is in the mind of others. What will people think about me if I carry out these activities? What will people think about me if I live my dreams? What will people think about me if, my, if I live my vision? They are afraid. Because of that, they don't master their feed. Because of that, they don't live up to what they are supposed to live up to. Afraid of challenges. Afraid of opposition. Challenges doesn't come to stop you. Challenges come to test you. Challenges come to see how real and how, and how authentic your dreams and your visions are. Your vision is actually real. It will be tested. So don't be afraid of challenges. Don't be afraid to live up to expectations. Don't be afraid to make an history in the world. And don't be afraid to be valuable. Don't be afraid to master your Field. The difference between the boss and the employee or the staff is knowledge. That's just the difference. The difference between the person paying you and yourself is knowledge. Your boss knows something you don't know. The person you are working for knows something you don't know. That's why you are there. Knowledge. And the day you know what he knows, the day you know the secret of, of what, is, what is, the day you know the secret of his success, you will only be in that company just to gain experience. And the next minute, you become your own boss. Hope you had a nice time, hope you had a fresh time, hope you enjoyed today's episode on people shouldn't be afraid to live your dreams. Live it to the fullest. Make, make history be valuable and don't be afraid. So that will be all for today. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And let's know what you think about this episode. You know I always like being in the comment section. Let's meet there. Please, let's meet in the comment section. Let's meet there. And please don't forget to share and like this video. Tell your friends about this video. And remember to stay happy. See you in the next episode. Bye.